welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a review of my new, well, it's not new, a review of my five month old new favorite small appliance. And we're in the kitchen, so I think you know what I'm talking about that little baby back there. So if you'd like to know my thoughts and opinion on my Nespresso Virtuo machine, please keep watching. Hey guys, so I wanted to come to you and do this video because I did an unboxing of my Nespresso machine about five months ago. And since then, I have used it every single day. I love it so much more than my Keurig. And today I kind of want to share with you my pros and cons, plus my favorite coffee and accessories. Everything you've ever wanted to know about my Nespresso, why I love it so much, we are gonna get into it. So the first thing I wanna do is share with you what exact model of machine I have because I feel like there are about 10 different Nespresso Virtuo machines and just a little bit of backstory. From the research that I have done, the original Nespresso machine pretty much just brews espresso. So you're gonna have two ounce pours. But the Virtuo line pours traditional coffee and espresso. So I believe with the Virtuo, you have a bit more variety in terms of what you're brewing and the brew pour. And it also seems like the original Nespresso machines brew hotter coffee. I think if you want a traditional espresso machine, I would go with the original machine. So I have the Nespresso by Breville Virtuo line coffee and espresso maker in chrome. So the one I have, they have it in the chrome finish like I have, but they also have a version without the chrome. I want it chrome just because I have stainless steel appliances and I wanted something a little different. You definitely don't have to go with chrome. I decided against doing a bundle because as you can see, a lot of things on my counter. I am not someone who has a perfected Instagram kitchen. I have Lysol wipes and Lysol and a dog treat canister and hand sanitizer and a, I know you heard treat baby. <laughs> I have a KitchenAid mixer, I have a juicer, I have a toaster, an air fryer and an espresso machine. So because my kitchen, I'll just say it, I don't care, is a bit cluttered in terms of my countertops, I didn't want anything else to go on my countertop. Because of that, I purchased this hand frother. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I can count on my hand the number of times that I have actually frothed my creamer. I feel like creamer is heavy enough. I don't really need it frothed, but sometimes I would like it and this comes in handy. This is a handheld frother by the brand Bodum that I purchased from Target for about five to $10, works perfectly. I like this because I don't have to have anything else on my counter. If you are someone who lacks counter space or if you don't like a cluttered countertop, just go ahead and get a handheld frother keep it in the drawer with all of my bar accoutrements and it works perfectly. This is what my machine looks like. Right now my capsule holder is almost full and that's the water tank. You put your pod in through the top. Now, let's talk pros and cons. The first thing I wanna talk about, I get lots and lots and lots of DMs, questions in my inbox, in comments, in my email. People want to know, is the Nespresso machine worth it? And honestly, you guys, it really is. I'm gonna be honest, I hopped on the Nespresso bandwagon because all of my favorite YouTube channels were talking about it, they had been purchasing them, and they loved it. And if you're like me, coffee is an experience. I love waking up every morning and sauntering over to my countertop at my coffee station. I delight in choosing a mug for the day. I delight in using my coffee stir. Coffee is an art. So if you enjoy a nice premium roasted coffee, you are going to love your Nespresso. I do have two cons that I want to discuss. The first con, and I think this is the biggest con for me, is that you can't buy your capsules at your grocery store. Now, it's not a huge deal, but it prevented me from buying a machine for at least a month because I'm simplistic. I like going to Kroger and being able to get everything in one stop 
from household items, stuff for my car, stuff for my dog, everything. So going from someone who had a Keurig and I was able to buy my coffee at the grocery store, it was a little bit of an inconvenience having to go online. Now, what I will say is that Nespresso shipping is extremely fast. I have probably purchased maybe five orders online. There's also a mini boutique here in Atlanta and Buckhead. I purchased coffee from there, but it's not as inconvenient as you think. I think you just have to plan more for it. So whereas before I could saunter into my Kroger and pick it up every week, now I can't. My coffee usually arrives to me within about 24 to 48 hours, so it's not that bad. You can also pick up coffee at Bloomingdale's. Now I know there are not Bloomingdale's in every city, so that may be a deterrent also. But all in all, the major con is that you can't buy your capsules where you usually buy your other coffee. Like they're not readily available. That is something that I wish they would change. I kind of wish they were available on Amazon. I want to say maybe the original pods are, but not the Virtuo line. The second con is that this machine is loud. Okay, it's a heavy, robust, loud noise. I'm gonna show you guys at the end when I make my coffee. I would say it's louder than my Keurig, but it also brews your coffee a lot faster. You don't have to wait for it to heat up. So it's not a huge deal, but if you're gonna have this in like an office setting or a quiet environment, maybe you're a counselor and you have a therapy office or something, it's very loud. When it revs up in the morning, it sounds like a truck. <laughs> so it is a little bit loud. I also have heard of people having problems with the mechanism that kind of places and removes your capsule. One of my girls, Catrice Marie on Instagram, hers got stuck and she actually had to send the entire machine off to be serviced. If that is a common issue, that would be a big deterrent because for a Keurig, you literally just place your pod in there's no suction there's really no way it can get stuck so I would say that's a con if it happens with your machine now everyone else I know for the most part I think only one other person I know has the same exact machine I have but usually people have the different machine where the water tank is separate once again, I picked this model because I wanted everything to be sleek. So those are my two cons. You can't buy your capsules everywhere. They're really not readily available. And the second con is it is loud when it starts up. But I want to say it takes less than two minutes to brew your coffee. So it's not that bad, but it should be noted. Okay, now for the pros. My biggest pro and the number one reason why I think you need an espresso if you are a coffee aficionado, if you're a coffee snob, if you enjoy the art of making coffee. Nespresso coffee and espresso is unmatched. The first time I brewed a cup of coffee, I look back on all the many years. As I look back over my life and think, I realized all the coffee I had been having from Keurig was so watered down, so watered down. And you guys, I am not a strong coffee lover. The coffee that I use from Nespresso is usually from a six to an eight on the intensity scale. I don't like anything too strong. I'm a one cup of coffee kind of gal. The first time I had two cups of Nespresso coffee in a day, I thought I was going to have a heart attack. So I'm not someone who needs a lot of caffeine. I just need a little shock of it in the morning to get me going. But when you taste the coffee from your Nespresso, you will never go back to a Keurig. Not only that, you also won't want Starbucks. You also won't want Dunkin' Donuts. You won't want your local coffee shop. Like, Having an espresso has changed my life tremendously. I know it's just coffee, but it matters, especially in 2020, the little things matter. So I love the fact that the coffee is really premium, high quality coffee, it's unmatched. I also like that there are so many flavors. Now, of course, if you're used to a Keurig, you aren't gonna have 100 brands to choose from, but they do come out with seasonal varieties, so you still feel like you get the tailored seasonal beverages without having like, you know, a ton of options. So there is some variety and I do like that. I also like that you can make espresso with this machine as the name would suggest. So I don't think with my Keurig I could make espresso. Like I said, I'm not a big espresso drinker, but I still would like to have the option too. So I really like that I can brew tall cups, small cups, and even espresso. 
All in all, those are the big key reasons why I love my Nespresso. Having an espresso is just a brewing experience. I also do wanna talk about cost. I didn't mention this, but it is something to note. Another reason why I was very hesitant to go with Nespresso in the beginning is because of cost. I am cheap, okay? I know I like my luxury things, but I am cheap when it comes to everyday things that I shouldn't have to spend more money on. Hence the reason why I shop at Kroger and not Whole Foods. When I was looking at the cost comparison, because I'm a nerd, of the Nespresso capsules versus the Keurig, you do spend a little more. So I wanna say I used to drink donut shop coffee and at Kroger I could get like a 10 to 12 pack for about $7, probably even cheaper. Nespresso coffee is about 10 to $12 for a 10 pack of capsules. So you are paying a little more. Now, now, is it as expensive as going to Starbucks every day? Of course not, but if you are someone who is used to paying Keurig prices, you might find this to be a little pricey. Or if you are a two or three cup kind of guy or gal. Like I said, I do one cup of coffee a day. So for me, one pack will last me almost half the month. It kind of isn't too bad, but if you're drinking pot after pot of regular coffee every day or cup after cup, you might not want an espresso unless cost is not an issue for you. But for me, cost is like a big reason. <laughs> also, when I purchased my Nespresso machine, it was on a huge sale. I didn't buy it from Nespresso's website. I purchased it from Bloomingdale's. So I will link my exact machine down below. If it's not on sale right now, fret not. Keep checking back on Bloomingdale's website. I purchased my machine there and I also purchased my first pack. It was like a four pack of coffee. So, so now I want to get into my favorite coffees. So when I purchased my Nespresso machine, it came with this sampler pack and this pretty much has all their varieties of coffee. So you have your Altos, which pour a 14 ounce pour. You have your coffees. There are nine different coffees from decaffeinated to really, really intense varieties. You have your Grand Lugos, which pour about five ounces. You have your Double Espressos, which pour a little over two and a half ounces. And then you also have your Espresso. Now, my favorites from coffee are definitely Stormio, Odacio, and Malazio. And they are respectively eight in intensities, seven and six. Not really a fan of Grand Lugo too much. Don't really care for Espresso, they're just it's just a little too strong. And then you have your Barista Creations, Bianco Leggero, Bianco Forte, Hazelino, Carmelizio, and Venezio. I think they discontinued Venezio and replaced it with Vanilla Cream Pie. I do like that one. They also have Hazelino Muffin. It tastes like sour milk, okay? Try it and let me know if you see it. Don't like that. Then they have the Master Origins, which are the Mexico and Colombia. I haven't really tried those, but I really like that my Nespresso came with this sampler pack because it can be kind of daunting when you're not really familiar with Nespresso to pick your favorite coffees. So my favorite are Stormio, Odacio, and the Bianco Leggero and the Vanilla Cream Pie. Another thing that I wanna talk about is like the pour sizes. I'm gonna link a YouTube video down below which describes Describes everything you need to know about the pour sizes. I don't fully understand it, but I will link that down below for you. So sometimes if I want, let's say I want a barista creation, but it only gives me 2.7 ounces, such as the Bianco Leggero, I'll just press my button twice. So I press my button for three seconds to turn it on, press it once to brew my first cup, and press it again to brew my second cup. It doesn't necessarily make it weaker, but it kind of does because it's water that's already been filtered through the capsule. Not a huge deal once again, but I do want to note that because the pores are different on all of the coffees. That's basically everything I have to share you guys. I really, really, really love my Nespresso machine. It is totally worth it. I will never go back to a Keurig unless I have to. My Nespresso is just Mm, the coffee is unmatched. Yes, it's pricier. Yes, it's not widely available, but it's so, so worth it. I really, really love my cup of coffee. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stick around if you wanna see how I brew the perfect cup. Bye.